Episode one twenty one, dude. Oh my god! It's it's pretty much the morning time. We still got that this deep. Is... We got that deep va- bass in our voice yeah. dude, from waking up. Yeah. God damn, we sound I got mine. so I got, fucking uh, hot right now. If I sniffle during this, you got to forgive me. You I have got, the sniffies? I got fucking allergies. Oh, dude, I forgot how you. bad I have allergies. Yeah, man. I All of a sudden, I was like, oh, am I, am I getting a fucking cold? Nope. And I was, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, I've, I'm a retard. I get this every single year. Yeah, I, dude, I suffered, uh, I would get like sinus infections for years, and I just didn't, conv- I would just convince myself I didn't have seasonal allergies, because so I'm like, I don't get those. Yeah. And then like, yeah, Brittany convinced me to start taking Zyrtec, and I'd never have that problem They now. seem to get worse every year. Yeah. They seem, yeah. What's this planet trying to buck us off? This planet's trying to stop us, dude. We're fucking fleas, dude. This planet dude. is pretty fucking gay. You think so? Yeah. Were you, were you you're ready for a space station? Um, I live very, yeah, I could live in a space station pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. Just give me a fucking, you know, a nice recliner. <gasps> Dude. I could just float in the vacuum. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I've been watching The 100. Yeah, you got a lot of problems, though, when you live in a space station you got to deal with. <laughs> yeah, Air <of> quality, <laughs> radiation. Yeah. And then, like, you know, space justice is pretty wild. Yeah. They just let you out into the fucking abyss. Really? You yeah. walk the plank? Sort of. They put you in a chamber, and then they shut the, the pressure lock doors, and they open it up, and you go flying Yeah, out. so exactly like walking the plank. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly like walking the plank. But they do, they do. Uh, you know. It's weird, too. I was talking to my friend. You know how, pe- how many people like believe that like if you get a tiny hole in an airplane, like it automatically like sucks everyone out, and everyone dies? Yeah. Someone was saying that to me the other day, talking about air marshals. Like, yeah, you can shoot someone, but if you miss, everyone dies. It's like, pretty sure a, a plane could sustain like a bullet-sized hole. There's like a lot of people yeah, who are probably. like, if there's a tiny hole, everyone like the, everyone just gets like sucked out. Yeah, like it I don't instantly know. becomes a gravitron. It's like in movies. Yeah, I don't know. If everyone just goes, I was just watching uh, the Gray. You remember that with yeah, Liam Neeson when he fights all those wolves? That no, opens, I don't. I don't remember. Dude, it's fucking sick. <laughs> I bet it sounds. Uh, awesome. Liam Neeson's like a uh, he he works at this oil this mm-hmm. oil drilling thing in Alaska. Yeah. And he his job is to like keep wolves away and like predators and stuff. He's like a sniper. And then uh on their flight back to the continental. He's just a wolf the sniper. The old lower forty eight. Yeah, he's a wolf sniper. Uh the plane crashes. <laughs> and then the survivors have to try to get out, but they land and a pack of wolves haunts them the entire time. It's is pretty Neeson, fucking Neeson's there though. Neeson survives the, his gu- the crash. Is his gun gone? Gun breaks. I would assume now his gun broke to, in the crash. Yeah, otherwise it'd be a pretty quick movie. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, here, here's dumb wolves. So I can kill these. <laughs> so what do they do? They just run from the wolves. All they the time? run from the wolves, and the wolves kill uh, all of them except Neeson. Nah. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah, everyone dies. It's pretty fucking sick. That's pretty cool. The way Neeson dies is fucking sick too. Damn, He's got they- those fucking airplane bottles, and he makes like claws out. He breaks them and makes like claws out of them, and fights the alpha. Fights Dude, the big alpha. I, that's not you gotta see a, this movie. It's, it's not fucking, even a spoiler. I, I'll watch that. Yeah, just to get to I that. I could read the script and Stick watch it. Stick around that. after the credits. That's all I'm Stop, saying. Little, Dude. Stick around after the credits. Get a little Marvel action. But what was funny is, uh, it reminds me, the reason it reminded me that both the plane crash and the wolves, I don't think wolves have ever killed people. You don't think so? I think I read that. Wolf never killed someone. I don't think wolves attack people that are alive. Really? Yeah, like ever. That would make sense because they kind of slowly became our friends. Like wolves would just circle the perimeter and we would leave them little bits of food and they slowly got domesticated. You know what? I'm not even going to. I was going to Google that. Fuck it. Someone's got to have Google Someone's got to have died by hands of the wolf. I I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's no reason that, yeah, I can see that. I mean. You hear them in every fucking myth as like the problem, like the big bad wolf. and the like the bad wolf, the, yeah. St. Francis with the wolf. What's, what did it say? He fucking, there was a wolf that terrorized a village. What'd he do? Then he went up and fucking was boys with it and said, everybody in this village better be nice to this fucking wolf. And he then probably they were knew. all friends. He probably crunched the numbers. He probably like, Googled it and was like, you know, I don't think anyone's ever been killed by a wolf. <laughs> I have to know. That's this, a bold dude. stat, dude. That's a fucking I'm taking a bold shot on that. Stat. Yeah, let it be. Let it hang. I'll tell you, I bet wolves have killed kids that have been left around. Yeah. I bet they've killed. Well, there's that. Hurt there's, people? Oh, they've definitely hurt. Like, no, no, I'm saying killed someone that's, like, wounded I mean, and they ate stranded. Them. Yeah, but I don't think they kill people. There like was a, a grown man. I don't think they would... Yeah, but then again, they attack, like, fucking... What, what was that Planet Earth bison. thing with, with the cities? And they had, like, um... 
Jaguars they, in India? No, no. Well, did you oh. see the other one where they threw the that like African village would throw the bones outside and let like the, the hyenas, hyenas come? Yeah. And it was like a pact they made with them. Like, we'll throw you bones, and the hyenas became friends with them. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I th- yeah, I th- hyenas. Hyenas I think definitely. Get, yeah. They'll definitely some fucking, fucking lives. Yeah. yeah, they have, and that'd be a horrible. Well, that's why they're not allowed in the the Lion Kingdom. True. That's why they have to sit on the edges of the Lion Kingdom. Yeah. That's pre- that's based off. They have fact. to stay in the bones. Yeah, that's based off fact. They have to stay on the bones. That's only the bad lions, <laughs> the smited lions live. <laughs> yeah, dude. the uh, I'm gonna go down with that ship. Take it, dude. Wolves have never wolves have never killed a guy. Bam, done. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I'm wrong on this, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be like you thinking there were guard cats. Like that this was is a bad be one. Fully fucking retarded. Yeah, thinking there were guard cats was definitely a low Dude, point. I have been staying at my parents' house the last few days. Mm-hmm. You know, got some family drama. Dude, you know yeah, families. Some drama. You know families. Exactly. Exactly. Got some drama I got to take care exactly, of. Exactly. Thoughts dude. and prayers with the Gillis family. You just got to gel your hair and get over it, yeah, dude. dude. That's how I live. Yeah, you just got to gel your hair and fucking. <laughs> Why do I have to <laughs> gel my hair? Almost, that just makes me think of like Jersey Shore. Oh, family? Just yeah, like, dude. My family stressing my family. me out. Dude, but you know what? We all still sit down and pray together. That's true. how I know we're a true family. Family that prays together stays together. Exactly. Dude. No. <laughs> if somebody tried to pray at my house, it'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Every once in a while, my dad will try to pray, and it's just like, everyone at the table is like, shut the fuck up. Dude, I went out to dinner last night with. Uh, with Bay, her family, and you my parents. Bay's family. They they're at Faye's families at my house too. So I got I got a full oh house my going God. too. Yeah, so we went out to dinner with my parents and uh, my Bay loves praying, dude. She loves to pray. So she started Grace, mm. but she did like mm. she did a handhold. Mm-hmm. And my mom goes to church every day, but she doesn't do handhold Grace. Mm. So dude, we we're, we're like we're in the restaurant, so I like grab I got grab like her sister's hand, whoever I was next to, and I try to fuck I try to turn my they gave me tartar sauce instead of lemon aioli, and I was like, dear lord, pr- pr-, I try to like ter- transfigure it into fucking <laughs> lemon aioli, dude. My fucking bae was none too pleased. Oh, dude. I try to use our collective power. Did to, you say that? I tried did you to make do, that joke. Yeah, I did. <laughs> How'd that go with the family? <laughs> the family just laughed at me, but Brittany was like, "Will you stop, please?" Oh. I was like, dear Lord, please, with the powers invested in us, Dear oh, Lord, I'll come down and change all this. I taught us all. So. <laughs> I didn't go that hard on the Jesse Jackson. <laughs> that would so funny if you did that with her family. <laughs> you went full black preacher. I, did, I, tried to, I tried to use our collective powers to do magic. and uh, I, I was, mean, that's what prayer is, dude. Prayer is exactly, magic. Exactly. But, yeah, she didn't like when I... Uh, when I used her religious powers to... Neeson turns on God pretty hard in the Does he really? Yeah, he's like, where the fuck are you, dude? Rightfully so. Him and his boys... It's yeah, got, but the, you know, that's so crazy. Plane crash and it's then so got crazy to think, like... I mean, it's crazy to, like, call upon God to save you from wolves. It's like, dude... Yeah, you the wolves are over there it. saying, like, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, God. Yeah, the wolves are praying. They're we, holding We're hat. stuck in this fucking mountain. You just <laughs> delivered us a hundred dudes. This is manna from heaven. <laughs> yeah, it's, that is... Uh, I've been reading about that a lot, how they're talking about how, like, religious energy never goes away. So it's, like, since, like, God, people would, like, medieval times, like, if, if I were trying to, like, turn my tartar sauce into fucking lemonade, I could, yeah. I could have been, like, tart and feathers or tart and feathered. People didn't like that. They don't like that. So, like, that energy, that serious energy people put in religion, the arguments that it never went away. So, like, you know, the gods, people stop believing in that, but then that energy goes somewhere else. And the, the thing people have to think about is where they're actually putting that oh, wow. their energy into. Hmm. Yeah, pretty wild stuff to think about. But the, the, some of the theories are just like it, it just went into like health and like the idea of like disease when like they instead of like a demon we have like diseases that plague us and yeah. all that stuff. Pretty neat. Wow. Yeah. You learn a lot about medieval stuff. Yeah, dude. I'm. I'm I. I love medieval stuff. But this was really. <laughs> I usually. I use medieval stuff as my f- reference point. Yeah. Because I. I like pin down medieval thought. I've. I've. A, Phenomenal understanding of medieval thought, of course, and I compare it to modern day thought. And dude, we're just still, we're still in our little cocoon, dude. People, yeah. people start to try to think like we're fucking, we're out of it. And we figured it all out. All I can do is SMH, dude. I'm just like SMDH, dude. M fucking H. Dude. Some guy on this, uh, I don't want to fucking blast him, is because it's a horrible story. Mm-hmm. On online, he posted uh, his fiance was dying. She's like 24. When? And she's got. On on just this week. Oh shit! Yeah, she's like dying. She's got like kidney failure. Yeah, or some shit. Yeah, yeah. or her liver. I forget what the fuck it was. Mm-hmm. But uh, so she was going through that, and then because of all the surgeries, they were like, "All right, we fixed it." But then because of all the surgeries, like some fucking her brain stem got fucked up. Yeah. So she's in like a vegetative state now, and she's gonna die. Damn. So he posts this. Yeah. And at the end of it, he typed FML. 
No, dude. Swear to God. Really? FML with a sad face. What the fuck? I couldn't fucking believe it. Yeah, that's his, really weird. I mean, it's like, maybe he's in just a weird, obviously he's in a weird headspace. Yeah. But like, first off, while someone's dying like that, to go online and post about it, interesting. I mean, you're just looking for something. I don't yeah. think you're making it about yourself. I think at that point, you're just like... Dude, anything just I, give me some sympathy right this now this is a sinister sinister but then thought. to end it with fml yeah it's like i almost responded to smdh dude <laughs> r-o-f-l dude <laughs> i remember when my pop-up died i remember there was a very very sinister part of me that was like "Ooh, i get to post this online now Damn. Yeah, dude. All right, pop up and twenty four year old fiance. <laughs> I who's dude, been who you've watched struggle through like I hey dude. There's no he was in a vegetative state. Yes. He was probably at, he was at the hospital when he wrote that, probably. Yeah. That's but fucking did he, I mean, what a horrific Do you experience. know this person really well? No, not really. So But you never know, Mike, you know. My like, thing is it's like back be him. that as it may, there's always a little part in somebody. Like, you ever fantasize about, like, your parents dying? Hell People, yeah. Exactly. When so my it's mom like, and mommy you know, and daddy were fucking being dickheads, be like, <laughs> if they die right now, I'll be the king. I know. <laughs> so it's like, you definitely, at some point, there's some part of that guy that was just probably like, you know, I can't speak for him, but. I don't know. I bet at that point, like, where he was at was like. I mean, definitely check to see how many likes he got on that status. I'm just saying. That's yeah. the sick and twisted fucking, that's the sick and twisted reality right now. That's fucked up. It's super fucked up. FML, dude. dude. F the fucking FML threw me off. I read the whole thing and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is sad. Like, fuck, I'm feel bad for you, dude. So you were basically like FHL. And yeah. And then at the end, I was like, oh, fuck H. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah, that's so fucking weird. Yeah. But yeah, dude, don't don't even get me started on social media, bro. I I what is it, I've, acronyms? Is that what it's called? I think What's so. It yeah, an acronym. Just yeah. tossing in one of those at the end of like a horrific story. Yeah, it's dude. crazy. I mean, F M. Also, why M L? What about H L, dude? What about her life? That's a, that's F H L. Like you were saying, that's F H L. Yeah. And to throw it in as like F M L, eh, it's a little digital Freudian slip to show the true intention. Possibly, I don't want to speak. Damn, on you're it. really sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry, I don't want to speak. I on didn't it. bring it up to crush him. I brought it up because it was just a funny thing to like. He. It is odd. It's odd to end it with that. And it's it is those situations definitely a shame. You know what? I don't know what I've been doing. That's weird. I realized. What's that? I had a meeting yesterday with my supervisor, dude. I had the most paranoid fantasy of like i'm being exploited this is ridiculous this whole place is this evil like money grub and like yeah you know which i think things can be done differently but dude, this was in my head as fact and like finally yesterday i had to like sit down with her and we had to like have a meeting and i was like i'm gonna tell her everything and as soon as i sat down in front of her like 50 percent of it just burned away as like oh wait that was just a paranoid delusion <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. oh i have no proof of any of this and you're like yeah. oh shit and then like it was just so funny how until you sit down and talk to someone you can spin up the most like insane version of what you think they're up to until you sit down and you're like oh god i have nothing to fucking base yeah. any of this on other than me being a paranoid freak <laughs> i think <laughs> oh i'm god, getting worse shit. with that <laughs> dude i'm getting so much crazy. worse i feel like, like when i was younger i didn't give a fuck like yeah. i didn't think about anything like that and oh, now dude. I'm just like, they're fucking trying to fuck me over. They're <laughs> yeah, against me. Dude. It's like, no one's against me. Dude, here's the whole thing. It's like, I signed up to that thinking that I'd be able to, like, after, like, you know, I did my thing and get people housing, I'd be able to, like, go visit them, like, once a month and continue, like, work with them and doing stuff. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then I just, she was like, well, here, we'll take over that and you just keep, you know, doing the paperwork, which I still think there's an element to where, like, I'm, I'm giving, like, the shit end of the stick. Like, yeah. you know, that's undeniable. But as soon as I was like, yeah, I, I kind of want to drive. And she's like, oh, well, I just assume people didn't want to put miles on their car and i was like oh yeah that's kind of valid i was like that makes sense most people probably would worry about that yeah and i was like ah, fuck I was yeah like, oh, i said so many bad things about you to so many people i know <laughs> i was just sitting there like oh god i trash you so fucking hard yeah but um but yeah so that was weird yesterday i was like god i probably do that like so much with so many different people that if i just don't talk to them for a while i'm like what are they up to i'm like probably being a fucking asshole and fucking <laughs> up everything <laughs> definitely plotting against me yeah. like they're even thinking about you I, I, I was like this is clearly out and like it's collusion dude everybody's colluding but the worst part is so many people think like this as soon as i bring this up in class you're like yeah and i'm like yes i knew i was right perfect yeah dude it's fucking i've been reading about all this stuff with like the shadow and projection and it's like 
It's bad, dude. It's yeah. with most most people. Once you really start at a lot of people aren't really psychologically minded to where like like they think about how they're thinking. And once you start opening that can of worms, it's like, dude, we're like a fucking bunch of balloons floating around. <laughs> There's like not much rhyme or reason going on with no. us. It's fucking scary. It is pretty terrifying, dude. Yeah, I was thinking about that and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, like dude, dude I started getting real into uh, like the book I'm reading is basically. That's funny. It's fantastic. Dude. Yeah, it's insane. I, I it, this book, it's all about like how to like not just ruin your life off like projecting all your weird shit onto other people and like I think that's where I'm at right now. It's where everyone is, dude, yeah. until you start thinking about it. And then the uh <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about? Uh, you're talking about like projecting your thing onto other people and also how people just kind of huddle around these weird institutions like Catholic Church, namely other ones too. And they'll Come on, just, man. no, I'm just saying they'll Come be on, like man. even as you huddle around your university, cling same, to same that thing. institution. Same fucking thing, dude. Where they just get into these weird ideals, and it's like no one gets anything really out of it. No one gets anything that serious out of it, for the most part. And you just kind of show up, and it's just like they say it's it's uh, idolatry. That's what idolatry yeah. is. When it's a false idol, there's no real energy. So the, the, I went and saw the the, uh, the author speak with the Spud Man not too long ago. Oh, nice! He's pretty sick. And the guy was get the Spud Man. The guy likened it to like a light bulb. He was like, if you just a light bulb itself, if you sat there and were like, thank God for this light bulb, it's the energy inside of the light bulb. And he was saying with religion that energy transfers to other things, and it's all about like finding out where that is for you. You have like mm-hmm. your energy center. So if you go against your energy center, we, when you're younger, you construct a false self to please your like uh, authority figures. And if you never shake that off, you just go towards things that you don't care about your entire life. And that's where like a lot of like depression and anxiety comes from. Yeah. And then you get that. And then your doctor's like, here, take these pills and it'll go away. So then you're able to continue your false self and like walk around intoxicated in this life that like you don't really want to be in. So when you get anxiety and depression, that's your body. It's your subconscious being like, dude. I'm glad I drove here for this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good God. I'm going to be driving back to my shithole family just like. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it gets fucking worse, dude. And then the only thing you have, well, this is not the only thing, but what people, what he urges people to do is find your energy centers, which I think I figured out how to find. Yeah. So you have to, if you get, again, I, I'm sorry that all my theories kind of come down to this, but yeah. you get really stoned to the point where you're kind of bugging out and then start doing activities. And whenever you can do... So I got to get stoned now? Yes. You got to get... Shamed. No. You know what? You're on the right path. You know what you're, you got to do. I'm saying for someone who feels like they don't know <laughs> what, what they like to do. What do I have to do? Oh, continue stand your up? stuff. Yeah, yeah you got to continue your stuff. But that's why I was like, you just sit down and do the things that you like to do. And if you're bugging out while you're stoned, that paranoid feeling goes away because you, you're in your energy center. Okay. But if you, that's why if you get really high and go to your job, you're just like, oh, fuck, oh, yeah. fuck. But if, you're, if you really, really like your job and feel comfortable there, you can be stoned at your job. I'm fucking proof, dude. I don't know. Because I've had, I love stand-up. True, fuck. Doing stand-up when you're high is miserable. And I can't be high. That's true. Okay. My theory definitely has holes. I could you get, sunk my theory. I'm sorry. I partially sunk, sunk my theory. I'm sorry. No, you partially sunk. I could get like. You can find hobbies that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't get high and find your life's calling. Well, yeah, because then I, my life's calling would have to be me being like, totally alone. If I'm getting stoned as fuck. Could be a hermit. I don't think I'm a hermit, dude. <laughs> I know you're not. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a, bad, that's a bad theory. I'm glad you shot that down. All right. The, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but that, was, no. that was a quick debunk, dude. <laughs> that's <laughs> one second of critical thought. Dude, that's how I roll, dude. I'm Alex Mack, dude. I'm a, yeah. pool of, I'm a fucking pool of liquid, dude. dude. That's how I am. <laughs> But that was uh, well, yeah. I'm glad you shot that down. But this guy, who's I guess obviously much more qualified to talk about these things, he his whole thing is that like, so you you do go into these like false versions of yourself to please other people. When you're like, when it starts coming down on you, people have these weird crises where they're like super depressed, super anxious, and they don't know why. And it's usually if they like look at themselves or just live in a life they don't want to live. Yeah. Which, you know, is basic enough. But he was saying what you have to go on starting off is like you got to start like being real honest with yourself and really start paying attention to your dreams. Because that's like at the end of the day, you have a mechanism inside of yourself that's trying to talk to you. Yeah. Through your dreams. 
which is oh, pretty. Oh, so now we're start, talking dreams. Yeah, dude, this is a subconscious. This is Jungian stuff. Dreams are gay, dude, bro. You say that. My dumb sisters bought you fucking dream books when I was a young when when I was a young warthog, dude, and I knew they were gay. <laughs> <laughs> I was a young warthog. Dude. Yeah, well, that's 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 dream books, gay. You're getting into you're dreams getting... and astrology, dude. That's no, where no, you, no, no, that's no, your ass, no, dude. that's your realm. Man. Oh man, no, no, no. <laughs> James Hollis talks about this. James Hollis is a bitch, that's, dude. Dude, you know how fucking Jimmy dirty. Hollis. Jimmy Hollis is the fucking man, dude. So he basically says that's like that new age stuff. Yeah, it's just it's snake yeah, oil. It just kind of you know it's sure. like only you can decipher your dream. So you'd have to, Damn. dude. I dude, is he Smokey the Bear. Think yes, dude. Think <laughs> about this. Think and this is this is some real weird weird shit. But so what I've been trying to figure out about myself is my relationship pattern, right? So it's historically been, I just kind of link up and it, dude. And this is the weird part. You talking about with bays. The bays. I have a subtype that I that I like get linked into. Where like I've dated, you know, your chick will be attractive. She'll be, you know, as, as pretty as they come. The yeah. fairest chick in all the land. The dude. fairest. The fairest in all yes. the land. And it was just well, usually not fair. They, well, there have been in the past, but I'm talking about oh, like you had some fair ones. I had some super fair ones, bro. Oh, but, I didn't know that. But they would like fold How around. Long ago? I mean, college. Damn. About a decade ago. Yeah. I popped in. I popped in on team like super light skin a couple times <laughs> in between dating and stuff. <laughs> um, not great. They're not really that. Yeah. Yeah. But my thing is uh, I've, I've gotten a subtype of like, I don't want to say emotionally crippled women, but like high maintenance babes, dude. And that's been my fucking, that's so far. And it's like, even with a physical attraction, my let body me, somehow. Let me throw this at your theory. Go ahead. All of them are emotionally <laughs> No, dude. <laughs> I haven't dated one that wasn't. <laughs> I'm talking like... We all are. No, but I'm talking ones that need like need like high maintenance. Like sure. Super high maintenance. Almost like, you know, and this isn't, you know, this isn't like a broad stroke across the board. Broad stroke. It's a broad stroke, dude. Yeah. But it's, I'm talking like, 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 like a perverse need for caregiving that links up with a perverse need for attention and care, care receiving. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because sometimes, a lot of times, it's the other way. And the girls are more of the caregivers, traditionally, yeah. in a relationship where they're like, what's the matter? And they're like drawn to like these broken fucking warriors, dude. Yeah. Like, Leave me alone. Yeah. Instead, my animal must... just dab with like a wet cloth. <laughs> <so laughs> exactly. Like, shirtless on the yeah. bed. <laughs> yeah. I've somehow this inhabited something. Warrior. Dude, so last night I have a dream. This is fucked up, dude. This... I'm just watching, dude. Actually, it was... Yeah, there's an initial part of it that's not important. For the second part was I was sitting there, and there was a guy who was just having sex with a quadruple amputee. Could someone dub this over the Martin Luther King speech? <laughs> no. Yo, last night I had a fucked up dream. <laughs> it was the first part. No, it was the second part. Uh, <laughs> people in the back, boo. <laughs> so, some guy was having sex with like a quadruple amputee. And just like going to town on it, and there you was love th- nuggets. There was three. No, You've talked nuggets before. There was You've three talked. babes in the tall grass, and the one came with a knife and just slid him down the back. And I just sat in the shadows and was like, "Yes, yes, yes." And then I had what? it. It was fucked up, dude. And then it morphed into like me on a like a, a skag, a lawnmower, sixty-one inch deck, and I was trying to put it on this fucking trailer. It was this Mexican guy. Hey, that's more like what you should be dreaming. That's about. when I went back to that was, dude. My dreams were all over the place, and then I go back. You should into be this. dreaming about landscaping. So I did. Pretty my thing here was this is my second was that's the first part of my dream. My second or that was really Wait, it. wait. So you were landscaping when you witnessed this nugget? Murder? No, I was just I was just in the shadows. And then it was just like then you know, it cut to a different cut to, yeah. yeah, fade to black. And then I'm on a, you know, classic 61-inch deck skag ride behind. Yeah. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it's Yeah, like, you said it twice to make sure <laughs> so, <laughs> to prove that you're an expert on lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> Zero turn. So I had. <laughs> so I'm riding that onto a trailer, and I'm like, I knew this trailer belonged to a, a Mexican. Did you hit the primer on it? Huh? Did you hit the primer on it? You don't gotta ride. Did your dad you yell at you and make you bag the front? You don't. <laughs> you know, there's no bag for the skag. Right. Dude. Skag's too did big. You have to fight your dad. No, did I your did, dad I did say, "Get off the couch and cut the lawn"? <laughs> no. God damn it! I said, "I'm going, dad." <laughs> no. I fucking hate you. My dad used to inspect. I used to leave a patch behind the sand mound undone every single time, and every I'd be like, maybe he won't notice, and every single uh. time it would be like. 6 30 p.m. on summer i just get out of the shower i'm like i'm out of here and he'd be like you didn't do me on the sand mount i'm like <laughs> all right so i had a, i had to drive this gag onto a trailer but the trailer i knew i was like it was like a, a single detached home in philadelphia like a warehouse setup 
and I was like, oh, a, an old Mexican landscaper lives here. This is in my dream. My yeah. my thoughts. I was like, this is his trailer. This is the ancient lad. It was the ancient lad, dude. So I was like, I gotta if I gotta park. I'd want to park this on. I had to park my lawnmower on this guy's trailer because like apparently that was the only place I could park this. But I was like. If he sees it, he might come out and take off and incorporate my lawnmower. And it was like, who else? He would definitely want to use this fucking sick ass gag. So I was like, he might take my. So I like deliberated on a lawnmower on a trailer for like five minutes in a dream. Like, if I wake up early enough, I'm like, God, but this guy probably wakes up early as fuck. And I was like, and then the next thing I know, I was in, I was upstairs in this house, and I invented like a video game system that was just controllers. So there's just eight controllers, and they project a thing onto a wall, and everyone could just play like a like an eight person like Royal Rumble Street Fighter. It's pretty fucking sick, and I you know so that was the end of it, <laughs> dude. Pretty fucking wild. Then I woke up like, oh, wow, yeah, it's pretty tight. Damn, but that's what I'm saying, dude. That's that's c- uh, communicating stuff to you all the time. What was that? Some communicating? of it invent a cool video game. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Don't my, get your lawnmower stolen by the lad. My unbridled creativity, my my weird thing of putting weird stuff on other people that I don't really know. The lad was just a shadow lad, and I was just like, he's going to steal my lawnmower. Yeah. That came back to me. You know the my lad. weird thing I haven't figured out yet about my relationships. I'm getting stabbed in the back by all my... I'm the crippled dude. I'm the dude having sex with fucking cripples, bro. You're I mean, one, I want to put it that way, but you you're know what the I'm one, saying? Oh, on so some you, deep, deep level. So you're dude. saying the on some? Women please you date, don't listen to this on surface level. Go deep with this, dude. So you're saying the women you date are nuggets? <laughs> They're just armless, legless nuggets that you're I'm just not, plowing dude, in the grass. Here's, and here's and here's exactly where I'm going to blow and your mind. Here's and where stab I'm going to blow your mind. It's not that I'm saying. It's not that they are technically. This is how I'm perceiving them. That's yeah, the I know. only control I know you're I have. Perceiving them as the nuggets. I'm worried about that. I'm a, a nugget on some level. Like a, you're a worried nugget that you're a lover. nugget fucker on some level, dude. Like I'm. I'm seeing the nugget somewhere in all of my bays, dude, and I'm loving it on some deep perverse level. Yeah, that's now, what. I, that's what keeps me up. At who night, are the dude. bays that stab you in the back? Who are the three wise bays? They were just fucking mysterious bays. I I couldn't put a face to them, dude. What do you think? What do you think that means? I might have been my fucking, you know, my three split animus. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. I got to read more, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> you need to stop reading, dude. You need to just go outside. Just take a walk. It is sometimes all my, like, new reading ideas come to me at once, and I just go like, oh. And I like, get, like, fucking, I just start losing my grip, and I'm like, keep it together. Keep it together. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, it's weirder than you could suppose, dude. You... This is one of the first times you've said shit to me where I've been like, all right, maybe slow down. <laughs> maybe take a break for a little while. Watch like a Sixers game. I can't do it. <laughs> Just I try, dude. Do you got to unplug. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Spud the other day and he was like, wait, he's like, where's the place you work at? He's like, is it in an office? And I was like, yeah, I'm in an office. He's like, Jesus Christ, dude. He's like, what do you do? And I'm like, I just sit there and chill. He's like, I can't imagine you in there. I'm no. Like, yeah. I mean, I couldn't be in an office. Yeah, man. I, I, I keep a lot of stuff shut away in the office. Although, every now and again, I'll uh, actually, I fucking crushed our finance department the other day because they're always late with checks. And, nice. Uh, you got to go down I, and give them the business. Well, no, I was like, what are you guys going off the mind calendar or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm crushing, dude. Because there's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a fucking, I'm like Neeson among the fucking wolves, dude. It's like a sniper coming through. It's not fair, really. <laughs> But, but anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all. That's all. I'm not going to That's keep, all you got? Nah, what, do I, what do I say now? I don't know. Long time at McGooby's <laughs> Joke House. <laughs> you know what's so funny? When we, we did, so we do, we did the live cast, first of all. You oh, haven't yeah. fucking. We'll, we'll cover that in a second. The live cast was exceptional. I was on stage. I haven't done stand up in so long. When I had to face the fucking crowd, I was like, you were just up there, like, bang, bang, bang in the beginning. And I was just like, uh, uh. I was fucking, <laughs> at one point, and I was fucking smoking that stupid vape pen. I, dude. In the beginning, it took me a second. Thank God you did a story. You did that story about like fighting the lady in a yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just still up there, like, uh, uh, uh. really? Not, nah, on some crushed. level, I was, I was still doing my thing, but you like, murdered. nah, dude. When I came at first, there were so many times I was like, thank God Shane's talking, dude. I'm about to freak the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, that oh, was so. You, I think you definitely stole the live cast, dude. Nah. For sure, in a good, very good way. There was there was times where I stopped and went, "Oh yeah, man, this guy's been doing stand up," and I'm like, "I could tell this guy's been on the stage, man, because you were Thanks, fucking, man. you were bibbing and bopping, Thanks. dude. That was fantastic. Yeah, that's awesome. I the felt stand up this week was great. You know what's been funny about uh, like the subconscious coming out? Yeah, it comes out pretty hard on stage. Oh, like, for sure. With like uh, 
Like if I'm comfortable enough to just start talking, mm-hmm. I'll end up saying something pretty fucked up. <laughs> like I was up there, I was in Baltimore, and the, it was going great. Sure. And it was with Big J, so the place was packed. And when Magoobies is packed, it's awesome. Yeah, like the whole fucking all, yeah, theater yeah. is full. And uh, so, like middle of my set, I'm just like, well, yeah, everybody's families, my family's fucking falling apart right now. Like, <laughs> like in the shit. middle of this, I'm just like, and then everybody's faking on Instagram, like their lives don't suck. Everybody here's life sucks. <laughs> Everybody here's life sucks. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> just back to stand up. Like just a moment of like, because the last couple of days, you know, I've been tough. So it's like, just in one moment, I was just like, "Yep, <laughs> life sucks unless you're dumb." <laughs> then you're just sitting around like, "Oh, well, at least the Ravens won." It's like your life is garbage. <laughs> These people, like, I can see old people getting upset. Like people started to be like, "Oh." Well, that sucks. If you're that old, I'd be so pleased to hear people start talking oh, about that. That was another like, thing. That was so funny. That's what I said. There was an old dude in the front. Him and his wife hadn't mm-hmm. really been laughing. Sure. And I was like, yeah, he's mad because I'm not telling him he's old. Yeah. I'm up here just discovering that life sucks. He's yeah. sitting there like, yeah, dude, obviously. Distract me, Just please. make fun of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously life sucks. I've known this for 40 years. <laughs> he didn't crack at that. And then uh, when I got to 69, your dad at the end, he was like, oh, and he slapped the dude, table. He needed it, was it dude. so funny. God damn. And then uh, what was really He probably great, called his son and was like, son. Son, you got to hear this. Funny. I got to tell you this. Uh, so there these two dudes, <laughs> these two old dudes stage right that I kept making. Well, sorry, I can't believe I said stage right. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm still thinking of that kid like, gripping his son's arm on his deathbed and being like, what would you rather do? <laughs> yeah. You gotta hear this fucking thing. <laughs> uh, these two, these two dudes to the right, these old dudes, and I kept making fun of that the one guy looked like my dad. Yeah. So when I finally did that, I was like, "I'll bring you up here and fucking suck your dick, dude." <laughs> like this old dude, I was talking about sucking his dick, and then I was like, "All right, see you guys, got to get out of here." And then uh, Jay, Jay goes on and he does a lot of crowd work, and it turned out these two old dudes were gay dudes. <gasps> these two old dudes to the right that were dying during my jokes that I was yeah, like, yeah. "Why are you guys so cool for old dudes?" And then they were gay. They're they good. were both married to women before. That's fucking awesome, They had dude. kids. God damn. And then they just got married. These two old dudes got married for the last two years. And what was really great. What, were they, what was the build you're talking on them? They were big boys? They were like, Jay's joke before he found out they were gay, he yeah. was like, who's running the tow truck company if you guys are here? Like, they looked like that. Damn. It was crazy. That's awesome, dude. And they were old. They were old. Uh, God damn, dude. yo! They probably party with boys, dude. It was. You think Kells? Dude, that was one you of Jay's MJ, one of really? Jay's first questions, and then he was, <laughs> and then when they were talking about his marriage, I don't want to. I mean, this is all crowd work, so it's not really ruining his material. He sure. was like, "Did you uh, like after you guys got married?" Did he's like, "You guys fuck that night." He's like, "Did you guys fuck?" And they're like, "Wow, well, I don't know. I don't want to say." He's like, "Did you uh, did you put him in the basket of your hover round and carry him through the threshold after your wedding? <laughs> like, the basket of his old scooter." Uh, it was, dude. It was so funny. But what was God the best damn, part, dude? The best part was when they were like, "We're gay. We just got married." Because uh, Magoobies is usually split between half white, half black audience. Black tables went nuts. Did they dude. really? They were laughing. They thought it was the funniest thing in the world that these were two old gay dudes. It was so funny. Because <laughs> then it was like you wanted to be like, all right, settle down. Yeah, like, yeah. All of a sudden you're like a teacher. Like, all right, calm down in the back, please. Oh, my God. There's nothing funny about these two guys being in love. And so they were just like, like yo. Oh! Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? Like, oh it was so funny. Oh, my God. Dude. Well, yeah. especially like you're talking to them. No one had any no idea. No one knew. I, yeah, I thought I was the one being crazy, being like, get up here. I'll suck your fucking dick and right now, And they must have been dying. And they were dying laughing, so everyone else was laughing. thinking like, So the fact that that came and out then was they just were like, gay, And it was like, what? <laughs> that's fucking wild. How did that even come up? They were like, they were like no. Jay we're... was talking to me. He was like, where are your wives? They're, they're like, like, we're married. And it was like, what? What? Damn. Two old gay dudes down in b more. You think they were just two, uh, they might have been like, Two married dudes that went out on a double date and saw Chuck and Larry and were like, it's not a bad idea. Maybe. And then but they, I then, think then they, got, they fell in love for real. And then they started fucking. Then they started fucking. There was no, uh, what's her name? Who's the hot Jennifer Beale? What was the chick? Oh, name? yeah. She was so hot. Is that Beale? Am I right? I don't know if it's Jennifer Beale. I don't think that's who did, who Jessica was, Beale is the name. Jessica Beale. That's who it but was. But it wasn't her. It, it was, was Beale. It was Beale. No, it was a blonde chick. No, it was Beale. All right. I know for a fact. All right. My boy was real into uh, Jay Beale and was like, oh my God. Wait, Jessica Beale. Yeah, she's at one point she she was Justin Timberlake's ex wife. She gets dressed and you see you her see butt. Her fat she's fucking a ass. Fat fucking ass, dude. Oh. Yeah, that was uh I think that, is that still Justin Timberlake's wife? 
I don't think. I know Britney Spears cheated on him and broke his heart. He yeah, with a little the kid from MJ. Heart. Huh? With the, Stop, boy, the boy, dude. the boy dancer from... That's who, that's who Cry Me a River was about? I believe. This could be up there with the wolf fact <laughs> I dished out. But I think the one MJ, the hot kid... Uh, cry me, cry me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Which, you know, if, if Justin Timberlake knew about the kid fucking, that yeah, was a dude. real... Cry Me yeah, a River cry ended up you being a fucking, fucking river, dude. ether, dude. That ended up being a real mean song. That was fucking nasty. Like, that was basically a slut shame. JT slut yeah. shamed. Me, you know, first of all, shout out to that fucking Australian boy for taking down Britney Spears. And Michael Jackson. And, yo, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> holy fuck. This guy is Hold like on, the I legend. Think, this guy's the Highlander, dude. I think that that's the legend. Fu- that dude only fucks the best. I think that's what I heard. Does that dude only fuck the reigning king and queens of pop of his time? Yeah, I guess. What? I I mean, this is too much, dude. I shouldn't even be on the air right <laughs> you now. You shouldn't, dude. I'm just giving out fake news. I, I don't mean, know if this is re- that might be Russian propaganda. This could be. Someone told me. Someone, a little birdie, told me that that. Australian kid was the choreographer. He was a choreographer for NSYNC, dude. And then he was working with Britney Spears, and he fucked her. And that's who that was about. But wasn't that about K Fed? No, the fuck K- knows. No, 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 K Fed. No, 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 K Fed was later. That was uh, yeah, that was either that was later during the downfall. K Fed might have been her first. That was her husband. That was the downfall of Spears. No, oh yeah, that was after yeah. after she you know ruined it with Timberlake. Yeah. After she destroyed the relationship. Fuck Timberlake, dude. <laughs> Spears was the best. <laughs> well, she you know and then dude she met up with K Fed and K Feezy dude was a uh, that dude was a sick pop phenomenon that kind of came out of nowhere and everyone was kind of like fuck this guy. Yeah, he wasn't even a he was a like a backup. He's a rapper. He was a backup dancer. His he had a, yeah but he had and a rap then song. Decided to make music. What the fuck was his rap song? It was about like fat asses. It was like the really? Brazilian world, for, Brazilian word for fat asses, and he just was like, "Hum, what on?" I forget really? the fucking name. Yeah, it was fucking song. K-Fed was, was kind of ahead of his time on the fat ass train that was coming yeah, with rap. Dude. Yeah, I mean he, it's always been there, but yeah, maybe he got back. Yeah, but he like he took it to another. Le- he went global with it, dude. Where he like took it's like Papa Zal, Papa Zal, Papa Zal. I swear to God, that's Papa his word. Pa- it's like Papa Zal. That's K. I was song. thinking Papa style, <laughs> Papa <laughs> style. <laughs> Papa's out. Pop, pop, Papa's out. Yeah, it was Papa's out. I swear to God. That's his song about fat Look, asses. The kid that Michael Jackson raped fucked Britney Spears. Cucked. And Crimea cucked. River. Cucked. Cucked Timberlake. That's what Crimea River's about. And that's what R. Kelly based uh, Trapped in the Closet off of. It's all one big <sighs> fucking incestuous blur. Dude. Wow. I mean, think about the world that Britney Spears was part of, dude. That was like... That's fucking virgin sacrifice, dude. We just yeah. put them... Instead of like stabbing them and draining their blood, we like... Put them in fucking slut outfits at sixteen. We're like, what? Yeah, we're not fucking her. We're just kind of like jerking off to her secretly. Yeah. That's a fucking weird. The pop thing is a weird, weird endeavor. And wolves don't kill people. True. Never have. Not only don't. Never. Not in the history. No guy has gotten killed by a wolf. Not in the history. I wonder who first laid that fact down to wax. Me. It's like thinking about some dude with a feather and a quill, and I was like, something else you know I've what? noticed. There's never been a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's definitely, like, pit bulls that have killed people. <laughs> pit bulls are worse than wolves. Dude. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. I got to find this out. You got to gotta just you gotta fucking Google your fact and see what's good. Hit pause for one second. All right, let's do it. We're back. I mean, I got to be honest. I don't think I've been this far off on a cool fact in a while. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Where'd that come from? I have no idea. That's fucking wild, dude. I think I've been telling people. That you that wolves that wolves don't them. kill people. Damn, dude. Now, granted, there were three uh, in North America in the last fifty years. What three wolves? In ca- all of North wolf America, casualties? So Canada, Alaska. Okay, so you're not that far and off. And those base. are three. So I'm talking. That doesn't tell whether the person was wounded or it was a child. So it's wolf attack. Wolf killing someone. But, yeah, I mean, but. The country with the most this is this is the first thing I saw, which when I was like, I don't think it's any, and then I Googled it and this stat came up. The country with the most extensive historical records is France, where nearly 70, <laughs> 7,600 fatal attacks were documented between twelve so the thirteenth century to so nineteen. The wolves like the French. Wolves love eating French people. That makes sense. But seventy six hundred from medieval times to World War One. And I mean, those people were fibbing, all right? 
Yeah, that's pretty. That, I mean, they're definitely putting up low numbers. So you could say you could definitely your rest. The odds are in your favor if you encounter a wild. Definitely wolf. not zero. Yeah, which is what I was hinting at. Well, that's, well that's a hot not even hinting fact. at. Just saying I don't it. think there's anything that hasn't killed somebody once. Sure, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's like why someone's I, definitely so died like, as a result of new socks before. Or yeah. like they put on new socks on a hardwood floor and we're like, wee! <laughs> like, whap, <laughs> dead. That's, dude, I'm, I'm glad you dispelled that. I'm glad you dispelled that on in air. In a half cause... century up to 2002, there were eight fatal attacks total in Europe and in Russia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, there's Peter and the Wolf. Yeah, there's that, all those facts. Uh, yeah, there's all yeah. those myths, I mean. But... Dun, 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 dun. You know what? I don't believe Wikipedia. Wolves have never attacked someone. True. Wolves have never killed... Uh, all right. I'm talking predatory, unprovoked killing of a human. That's what I'm human. saying, too, dude. That's what I'm saying. So, like... Like, they don't hunt and eat humans. Ever. Yeah. Because they know we'd be cooking up... <laughs> they know we'd be cooking up all that good shit. Ever. Geez. That's a strong fact. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm standing by it. Dude, um, so, I, you know, I did Ancestry, and then I did... And the Australian kid definitely fucked Britney Spears. That's, and that's what Crimey sta- River's about. I'm standing by that, and that's that's what fucking Trapped in the Closet right. was based off of. The, um... I, my we did twenty three and me and ancestry. Yeah. So I got my twenty three and me back. Dude, my girlfriend got hers back. Um which was funny because she had like one it was like point two percent Chinese in hers. I have like I mean I I have a little bit of Western Asian. Yeah. Basically Mongolian. Very like trait they were saying like my ancestors like like ten thousand years ago. Basically my my thing was like you know, obviously everyone came from Africa, but like my mom's side was chilling in like North Africa. West Age, basically the Tartarians, was out and like the people who became like Vikings and shit and the Celts. Really? Yeah. Do you know the Gauls or the Celts? I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, the Gauls are the Celts. Yeah. So it's like you had those people. So my mom's side was more like North, like way, way long ago was like, and this is like 0.1% of me, North African out to Mongolian land, like Western Asia pretty much. Western Asia is the Middle East. Or, or like, yeah, or like Russia, you know, whatever. Or what you know? What I'm saying it, it wasn't it wasn't Russia back then, but I'm talking about just the lands. You know, it was close. Siberia, like Eastern Russia, is close to Western Asia, sort of. But yeah, what? Middle East. It, it, what like the very end of doesn't Russia butt up to the Middle East? Uh, yeah. Like Uzbekistan and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. So I'm saying mine might have been like Uzbekistan, Mongolian types. You know what I mean? Mongol- Mongolia is further east. Mongolia is with like oh, China. Oh, way near China. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was like you were saying. I was you're more like Middle Arab. East. You're fucking Arab. Well, yeah, I think it's Middle East. But yeah, but back then it wasn't. It was a, That's what apparently yeah. the Tartars were. The Tartarians. I know you're trying to get out of this. Dude, dude. you're full Arab. The, no, no. You're no, Mujahideen, dude. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Mujahideen. The Tartarians, they lived. They were from. They were. We should, do, we should take the gas, the foot off the pedal on some Islamophobia for at least a week. What? Ha- oh, yeah, dude. I forgot about that. <laughs> so little, little ease New Zealand? Off that. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to take their guns. Fucking, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fucking, you guys couldn't handle it. Yeah, true. You guys don't get guns. <laughs> That's funny to buy a gun and you're just kicking around in your living room. You're like, mm, I wonder what I should do with this. And you just see, like, you just hear, like, ah, and you're like, fuck, I can't take it. Got it. Dude, that's that is fucking wild. Yeah, I don't mean to cut off your twenty three and me. But sure, <clears throat> please. Yeah, I wasn't going anywhere he, he with was, that. <laughs> <laughs> Other than geography, that was no dicey. I have I have something that is funny though. But she was Chinese and the whole time, dude. I was fucking. I was crushing her. It was so funny. That's hilarious. She's talking Chinese. about how how Chinese she was, dude. <laughs> she was like, well, you no seriously, seriously. Okay, enough. I, like, I love the twenty three oh, and me. A chicken, a chicken, dude. Actually, they said I come from uh, my dad's side. Comes from. Royal, like a, a royal bloodline, Northern Ireland, the Hugh Neil dynasty, dude. Yeah, it's no big deal. But dude, the whole time with her, I kept telling her I was Mongolian, she was Chinese, and I was like, I'm gonna invade. I'm, I'm like, all I'm gonna do is invade. You're the emperor, and you're like, oh, stay out of my lands. I'm like, dude, she was so fucking mad. She was getting mad. By the end of the night, everything she said. Did I you? Think, did it, I hear your first impression? You said chicken to her with a Chinese accent. Is hmm? that what you just said at the beginning of it? Chicken. I could have sworn that was what you said the, the first chicken. time. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, the first time you were like, I was making fun of her for being Chinese, and the whole time I was like, oh, the chicken, oh. No, All I don't right, think good. so. Good. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you thought I was being like I doubly were, racist? I thought you were being double racist. You're like, oh, I rock a frog, a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just made that up. I might have just heard it. Although I Koreans it. love fried chicken. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't say there was anything wrong you with that. You said dude. it. I did not, dude. That's your subconscious. I knew I shouldn't have brought up race. You know, I knew I shouldn't have brought up race around you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a weird thing I've been thinking about too about YouTube comment sections. 
how if there's ever an argument for the human shadow, dude, it's like scroll through those things. And it's just people like, fuck, you're a fucking idiot. I hate you. And it's just like, there's just like tons of it on the internet. Yeah. We're going to run out of space for it. <laughs> all the terabytes were spent. <laughs> all the memory in the world was spent just calling each other faggots. <laughs> yeah, when we when our society falls, our civilization falls, they're going to find like the one server left where it's like, suck my fucking dick, you libtard fucking retard. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I wonder how many gigs of memory are spent just on the N-word typed in comment sections. <laughs> it's got to be insane. That's, dude, that's the uh, – at Facebook, they have their – whatchamacallit? They have, like, their algorithms, like, like more deeply hidden. There's got to like, be a CIA building secrets. of servers at IBM dedicated that's, to just that's, the N-word. That's probably the holy grail at Facebook. <laughs> yeah. They're just probably like, no, you cannot, you cannot take this. Yeah, dude, it's got to be. It melts faces in fucking comment sections. It's got to be just like the Holy Grail. <laughs> the Raiders of the Lost Ark. You open that thing, dude. dude. How <laughs> funny was in the Rogan? Did you listen to the Rogan interview with uh, Tim Pool and then uh, Jack Dorsey? Not the and second the lady? one, dude. Shane, that is. I didn't know what a fucking animal Tim Pool was. Tim Pool was a psycho. Holy fuck! He went on. He eviscerated those dudes. Or he I mean it was. They kept trying to like they he would bring someone up and be like oh that's just ridiculous well and then he would be like well what about what about what about dude he'll fucking keep coming and then finally they'll go okay all right yeah I can see your point and dude they like it it was it was really good but nice. he at one point brought up like the uh, he was like <laughs> he was talking about like he he was like you guys read. Um, DMs and they're like, one guy's like, uh, not not that I I don't I don't think no I I don't think we and it was it was obviously like dude you guys are fucking lying, yeah. so then I don't know how this came up but he started saying like yeah but you know when people harass he's like so how do you know if someone's harassing you through DMs aren't you guys having to like stop harassment blah 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 and he's like well I mean he's like what about in the case when one person says n the next person says i and then he's like you know where this is going and uh, dude it was so funny he's yeah. like that happens all the time like people will just like bomb in boxes yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Vroom, <laughs> it's like, dude, it's so fucking weird. Yeah, I have a theory on the alt right and the fucking identitarian left that it's it's just all since now we're confronting like racism like for real like before it was just we were just could like kind of just be like just like sure that I know it's with a black guy and like in the early yeah. '90s you could totally fucking be at the family party and be like eh and like chuck around jokes like that. What do you mean then? That like in the early nineties, it was to a fucking family party with me. Yeah, but I'm saying it's <laughs> died you. off. It's died off. <laughs> yeah. So it's like when For you sure. grow up around that, and then all of a sudden everyone's like, anyone who's ever done anything like that's a piece of fucking shit. And yeah. I think a lot of the alt right stuff is like dealing with racism in a real weird way, where like you're just making a joke out of it. Where that's what happens to a lot of people when they're like, like when you do the Alex Jones voice, you're like, I don't fucking like yeah. when they come here, but it's funny. But it's a thing that people are processing on a weird level, and the, a lot of the left people process it by just being like, he's racist, they're racist, look at them, they're bad. Yeah. Blah, blah. So this is something interesting I thought of. Yeah, it's the alt-rights being like, it's not that big a deal. It's funny. And then Joking. the left's like, you do it. I don't do it. Ex dude, exactly. Exactly. Everyone's dude. placing blame somewhere else. Exactly. And then there's some people who are sliding in just being like, no, I really do like this shit. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, whoa, get out of here. Well, that's that's uh, the New Zealand dude. Yes. He was like a fucking Reddit 4chan. Was he? Yeah, I think so. Dude, he FaceTimed that. Or what? he fucking Facebook lived that. There's video of it. How many views? I I didn't watch it. <laughs> they probably took it down pretty quick. I that was one of the few videos I did not watch. Really? Somebody, is, it, is it down? Somebody was talking about it. I'm sure you can find it. Oh my god, dude. Someone was talking about it as like people just huddled in the corner. Like you think it, it a ton of people huddled in a corner uh, and he's just But uh, Jay was telling me yeah, probably shouldn't fuck. Well, put him on blast for watching this hey, horrific man. shit. I mean, you can He you, wouldn't give a fuck if I said it. For sure. Uh you think Zuck has like a big screen when something big goes on Facebook Live in his screen that he just like he sees in his house? Probably. He probably watched it the whole time. I was like, yeah, actually, he's. Uh, uh, yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was already there, bud. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there going, no, stop, stop. <laughs> how actually, about the, <laughs> how about the one lady like She's how, just twenty three and me Zuck in your head, and you're like, <laughs> actually, <laughs> how? How about Pelosi versus who's Lady Imhar, Amar Almi oh, Amar? Yeah, yeah. How about them having uh, Jewish first fucking yeah. Islam battle, dude? It's awesome. Well, how about they keep trying to pass bills? We're like, all right, we're passing another anti being against Jewish people bill, and that'll be coupled with the anti Muslim bill. And it's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah. They're like, yeah, she did say some tweet. She like alluded to like Jews controlling America. Yeah, through, yeah, through money, exactly. Maybe she's right. 
And then everyone's like, she's an anti-Semite. And Pelosi, Pelosi's Jewish. And the Jewish lobbies were like, hey, uh, go shut this down. Dude. And then all the media was like, she's anti-Semitic. But it, go, it, it starts to all crumble because they're like, no, wait, we need kick-ass, I'm, powerful Muslim women. And then Pelosi's like, let's have a meeting. And apparently they had like a truce where they're like, uh, I don't think you're racist. I'm, I'm a Jew, old Jewish lady, and I forgive your comment. And she's just like, I need to be more aware. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I apologize for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> whatever. I, didn't, I was trying to delineate between Pelosi and just, you know, it was just character acting. And then Ilmar Abdin was like, I need to be more aware of whatever, however the fuck she talks. And the, I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, though? It was yeah. like, you know, I'm just fucking, this is high drama. But it's it's so funny now that, like, their big, what they're worried about is like, whoa, whoa, who's being racist? All right, all right, we got to, you can still run, but, like, you got to take back the stuff you said about Israel. And then Pelosi now is just like, yes, in a sense, so like super victim where she's like, I've been wronged and I am a Jew as well. And like she goes up and is like, I forgive you. You're Oof. allowed back into the powerful girl club. We're going to win now. It's like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck are you guys it's doing? It's crazy. What are you guys doing? Have you seen that Rolling Stone cover yet? No. You'll love is it. Is it the three of them? It's all the kick ass women. On yeah, the but cover Pelosi's the now, Stone, dude, dude. Pelosi is Pelosi just Pelosi's the leader. She's the lead singer with the girls. I didn't even know she was Jewish until that happened. Then she was just like, just was like, when like yeah. Ursula fucking grows, dude, sounds like a like, wop. Yes, I, oh, yeah, I, I guess I was she's thinking. probably married. She's probably married a wop, dude. Hey. That's a deadly combo. Yikes, dude. Wop, diddy, diddy, <laughs> dum, diddy, diddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so Amar Dean was like. <clears throat> Thank you for forgiving me. I can't believe my first thing was just like, I know, you went full, <laughs> of, you went full of poo. And then, and and then you, the Muslim one was like, thank you, come again to Nancy. And like Nancy was like, oh, I'm a Jew. Oh. I know, dude. I know. Have pity on my wretched fucking soul, dude. <laughs> as soon as the voice came out, I was like, oh, shit, no, wait. I've heard her talk before. Dude, <laughs> she doesn't talk like that. Rolling Stone, dude. Women shaping the future, bro. Yes. Those are the most kick ass women, dude. Yeah, and right now they're just being like, <laughs> they're okay. Fighting each other. <laughs> Instantly, they're like, no, you're bad. No, you are. <laughs> well, apparently, the. Uh, how funny is it to be like, yeah, we got to get some kick ass Muslim women in power. And then right away, it's like, death to Israel. It's like, all right, all right. <laughs> I know. It wasn't that bad. It's just how much you meant. I mean, dude, you've called this a thousand years ago. We're talking about the open mics when we, that you had that one lady who was like, and I love automatic weapons. And you're just <laughs> like, so everyone's great. like, whoa, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. Oh, it's fantastic, dude. But, I uh, mean, let's. I will. If we live in a future in twenty years that's just utterly salvaged and like brought into the light by women, awesome. We all yeah. win. I'm gonna take the fucking call on that one. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna, what's that called? Like a, a call gonna, in the stocks. You're gonna bet the under. <laughs> <laughs> you're betting the under on that one. I'm gonna bet on the old uh, incessant infighting. Yeah. The, uh, what, just like anything else, that's the funniest thing. When, like women are going to save society, it's like, I guess, like, what do you, what, what's your guys' big plan? Yeah, the future is feminist. Dude. Future is fucking women. Future is so fucking femme right now. She, oh my god, dude! It's I can't believe how girls. fucking femme the future. Everyone's going to trans to girls. It's been dude. so masked. It's only going to be girls. It's been so masked for so long. Oh, dude, it's crazy. I'm so sick of our masks. Well, also, if society. they if they end up like we have a bunch of women politicians who like do it right. It's like you guys got to sit back in the fucking passenger seat and watch everything unfold for millennia. So it's like you guys have the fucking playbook. It's like, yeah, okay. So you're like running the last fucking little bit of the race. Yeah. It's like, all right, even if you guys do win, it's like, yeah, we fucking did the hard part. So yeah, whatever. We fucking <laughs> we, we got we got it to we where did the hard we part. got it to where you could be in charge without all of us dying. So I woke up at eight a.m. today and I was like, oh. <laughs> I did so much hard work to get yeah, our like, society dude, here. So many dudes died. So many like, <laughs> yeah. like war, and it's just literally like we should be in charge. It's like, oh, okay. After like much of the bloodshed, it's like, okay, yeah, sure. But either way, I mean, I'm, I wish in the, I wish that it'll you know something that funny, the just unfair. Some dude on Facebook posted this Breitbart article after the sick. First of all, I, know. Funny, <laughs> I have some wild friends on Facebook. That's posted not even that a, wild. Posted a Breitbart. Yeah, it is. He posted an article. Basically, it's no different than posting BuzzFeed. It's the same thing. It's fucking nuts. The shit if on I Breitbart see is nuts. people posting like now this and <laughs> Breitbart is the same fucking thing. It's like all right, you're retarded. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> this Breitbart did an article after the New Zealand thing. Oh god, that was like yeah, that was pretty bad. 
but no uh, one's talking about all those Christians that just got murdered in Africa. Dude, they all... And it, it's like, dude, it's, the, it's literally, it was fucking an article that should have just been Irish are slaves too. Yeah. It's like, and that's all, that's all... like, dude, uh, this was... That's Come what on, they're man. doing right now with um when anything like when uh what you call it fucking the, you don't hear about this guy at all anymore but uh, Jesse Smollett yeah. after that happened they're like yeah but there are a lot of real hate crimes and it's like will you guys stop fucking pivoting on every piece of yeah, news yeah, like yeah, yeah but we are still right so, yeah sorry yeah. about that it's like will you guys shut the fuck well, up yeah well because it's impossible not because it's like yeah there is some truth to it and it was also viral too so you got to yeah. still stay viral and you're like no I don't want to like report on this and you're like what would the people I write to love and yeah what like, would the alt right white nationalists that read this love yeah be like uh oh yeah christian mass murder and like yeah, yeah. we yeah. got killed too yeah no one's talking about us <laughs> even yeah. though it's african christians <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's like yeah obviously nobody's you think ever... the breitbart photoshopped the fucking uh like the dude the, the african massacre it was just like a bunch of george washington pet copy and paste like <laughs> <laughs> dude you could tell me about a massacre in you know any African country right now, and I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Sure, that's real. Dude, any massacre I read about anywhere, I just go, mm. Mm-mm-mm. Every time I read it, I just go, mm. I read, I saw the New Zealand one, I saw the headlines in my little, like, news thing that comes in my uh, email, and I was just like, no, oh, New Zealand. I just kind of looked, I'm like, yeah. mm, all right, down there, right? How about that? Yeah, and then I was just kind of like. That's why it got such so much news. Well, they it's instantly. Like this, were, was a, this is a Western country. Yeah, that's like true. It's a, it's, I mean, obviously, it's not in the West, but you know what I mean? It's a fucking sure. European-based country. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, if there's a massacre, it gets covered. It gets covered pretty If quick. there's a fucking massacre in the Sudan, not really that crazy. Well, until a, a person from, like, you know, New Zealand or England goes there and it's like, holy fuck, there's a massacre down yeah, here. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, dude, 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 dude. Then people, like, change their Facebook fucking profiles for, like, a week, and they're like... <laughs> this one was... This is a rough one. What was the Facebook? What was the? What did people do on Facebook to say like to commemorate Africa? No, no, no. Oh, the, the, I uh, didn't really see too many Facebook they profile anything? changes. They huh. put like a gun circle slash. No. Yeah. But yeah, it's like uh, that was a rough one. That was fucking horrific. That's a rough one. I did like again, dude. I'm not a gun nut. It's just people are gonna build fucking bombs. So it's like, like the Middle East is like, talk to them about yeah, gun control. Talk little to the harder. Middle East about gun control. Yeah, then you fucking build a bomb and just blow up an entire building. True. So it's like, I mean, I don't, I'm not like, your one's better than the other, but people are like, we need to get rid of guns. It's like, there's still a dude out there fucking stewing, being like, I got to kill as many of those people yeah. as I can. And where there's a will. Yeah, but. And some manure. To, to, yeah, you got to be pretty fucking smart. You got to be pretty to savvy. Figure true. out how to build a bomb. True, true. Secretively, true. Especially in today's society, like they'll track. If you're saying <laughs> yeah, crazy true. shit on yeah. Reddit, they're gonna be like, well, "Why is he buying eight hundred pounds of manure?" Right oh, now? you'll be flagged so fucking yeah. fast, dude. Don't even get me started so, on like, the CIA and Google. But then just to buy a gun. True. Well, you can buy as many guns really as you want until you yeah. come up on like a. If you're like stockpiling hard. And you can, uh, it was weird. If you even, if you start like, so if I were to like, I was actually, stockpile pretty fucking hard and be like, I'm a collector. You're just not allowed to have like, you what? know, now bump stocks and then like, I forget what it is, like clip, like I think extended they, clips and like, well, there's got to be a thing where if you start know, buying, you go into thing. a registry. So if you start buying a lot, they probably start monitoring your, like, dude, if you think the CIA can't zero in on every single person in America and just like see what you're up to at any given time, your computer, you're fucking, you're false. Yeah, you're wrong. You are fake news. You're fake news, dude. I was reading that book I'm reading about is from a Harvard lady, this other one. And basically, the CIA watched Google and Facebook build, and they yeah. were just kind of like, we'd like this. And they just teamed up, and it's like documented <laughs> on the record. And it's like, those, all that's, those, those things that's like Google, uh, Facebook, the CIA sat back and let private industry build a surveillance state for them. And they were just like, yeah, we're going to plug into that. Thanks. And it, it, yeah. just, it, it just is that way. So we're fully 100% surveilled. So if you start buying weapons and then you go into chat rooms, like fucking all, if they see the all caps kit, yeah. like, go on your keyboard, he's they're talking. like, send him out there. Yeah. Fucking, he's, go, he's about to blow. He posts a fucking Pepe the Frog meme. <laughs> it's like, all right, we got we to gotta keep an eye on this fucking <laughs> yeah, retard. Yeah. Yeah, that's like. Oh, the guy, I, I, I want to know, like. I'm not, I'm not anti-gun, by the way, but I, I, know you're not. I understand the, 
I totally understand. If someone both shot sides. me and all my family, I'd be fucking pretty hard at. It. I'd be like, "Fuck it, these things are no good." Yeah, but then you know, then I hear some maniac rant like, "Hey, if we go to war with the government, we're gonna need those guns." Well, and it's like, eh, yeah, all right, dude. That's the I other fuck thing. With that too. That's the other thing. I fuck with that hard, man. <laughs> I haven't fired a gun in years. Like I would be. So what, dude? It, you, help it would me. come right back to you, dude. I would join the government. You would join I'm the excited government. Excited for the government. They don't want over, you, dude. dude. They're they only want to do is subjugate you. No, they want me. Do you think the government's going to let you sign on? They're, they're going to subjugate you, dude. See the royal. They're going to use you to the last minute when they all jump into the breakaway bunker. They're just going to go shut the door on you and shoot you and just fucking get in. You're, Where are they going to shoot me? Drop in the head? dead. Yeah. All right. right I'll take you. it. You'll take a shot. I would have thought I was winning the whole way until the very <laughs> That's end. That's pretty true. I'll have like what thirty seconds of like God damn it. Yeah, but you know? they might be kind and sneak up behind you. And like I Shane, hit that know. button for us real quick yeah, and shut the fucking me. bunker door. And you're like, oh god, I can hit that. Yeah, man, I'd, I'd go with that. But yeah, the live cast was... Ooh, that was fun. Spud ooh, and Okani, the showdown, dude. Ooh, that was big time, dude. That was big. Damn. Okani was stunting on fucking Spud, man. He brought his bay down, his beautiful bay. Yeah, dude. Just well, Connie came up... it in Spud Man's face. Connie came, Connie came up and started fucking... He was crushing on stage, having a good time. I think he was flaunting bay. He did flaunt bay in front of Spud. I saw that. A little arm candy? Yeah. Dude, did you listen to his last episode? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> thinking about O'Connor going is home. Contact so funny. Thinking about him going home and like blasting Adele while his girlfriend's infuriated and he's blacked out is the fucking funniest thing. Dude, you see that here all the time. He would come home oh blacked out and put Seeger on <laughs> to, uh, as loud as it could go. And I'd be like, dude, Seeger fucking sucks. <laughs> He put he would, on night moves. He would put on uh, like a rock. That's secret. Oh right? my god, yeah. He's like, you gotta listen to this song, man. It's actually like real deep. I'd be like, dude, this is a Chevy commercial. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> like a rock sucks. <laughs> What well, was funny is Sid the Kid was saying like O'Connor out and dance. when he's drunk he, his disposition like doesn't change that much and he just uh, Sidney was like he just gets really nice out of nowhere and like starts like grabbing me and then like then he just blacks out and it's like all bets are off dude it's so funny <laughs> I think the Spud Man had a couple cocktails Spud Man is probably something I, I think I saw the Spud Man either fake punch the walls or punch the walls over at Helium he's probably dude he saw Spud Bay Spud Man got he said dude he saw Bay. so fucking funny he saw O'Connor with Bay yeah and he looked at Billy he was like and he's got Bay and he has fucking Bay and started like swinging I was like dude <laughs> oh, and then just having those two stare at each other oh just my face, god just looking dude. at the mirror it's like two dogs it was amazing oh it's so fucking funny me and funny. Billy were like two guys at a dog bark like, introducing <laughs> Spot and O'Connor. <laughs> I'm like, mine's nice. He's like, mine's nice mine's too. Friendly. Like, They're both friendly. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, the O'Connor blacking out because he has such a like he looks like he's not a fucking lunatic. Yeah, like O'Connor sure. looks put together, well put together. One of the more disheveled, out of control people I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just so funny. <laughs> That's so fucking uh, funny. But yeah, the, the cast was a success. We got fucked up with everyone. It was great. It's on Patreon. Yeah, I think it's going to stay in Patreon. Yeah, I was going to put it. I was, I was thinking about uh, throwing it just a little bit of meat to the pack of wolves. And I was like, uh, nay. Nay, dude. Instead, they get this, which is fair. We should. Maybe we could uh, put the last live one up. The YouTube video, at least. Yeah, nah, fuck it. No, nah. we don't need that either. Nah, dude. Nah. This is our inner. This is the fucking inner sanctum of treasures, dude. Yeah, man. Can't get in. Yeah, unless you have one dollar. Exactly. Then you welcome. Someone to- who the fuck was talking about having fifty bucks? Did you see Robertson? That? What's that guy? Fuck, I think Robertson. Yeah, he was like, I gave you guys fifty bucks the last two months. I can't get a shout out. I responded. Did you see my response on Patreon? No. It wasn't. I was like, saying the fucking Clinton Foundation, bro. There's no quid pro quo here. But then I was like, instantly, it was like that Saudi prince pressure where I was like, that is a lot of fucking money. That's a good I Patreon. Gu- I guess I'll fucking shout this guy out. He cut it. He cut funding. Did he? Cut it. I think he cut it all together. No, still cut it in half, dude. You're still a fucking donation a leader, bro. Like, yeah, what the you're fuck? still a baller. I, I mean, that's again. It's like that. I was like, I, now I feel like when the Saudis give you like two bill, there's yeah. no way you're fucking not being nah, like, like, we'll turn the. Yeah, we'll there's no way you don't hit him up. You're like, why are you guys giving us two fucking billion? Like, <laughs> do you want something? Like, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's a yeah, lot of fucking money. Find his name, dude. He needs a proper shouty. Yeah, Twitter has a. Um, I think he yelled out at the live cast. Did he? Yeah. So this, damn, this guy is like. It was towards the end. It was a blur. How about the one guy in the live cast who uh, 
what the, he like tried to yell something out and it would just, it, I forget what he said. And I'm like, no, no, let him explain himself. It maybe just came out wrong and just got like worse and oh, worse. Racist. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude, he said something well, it's racist. funny when he started saying something that was actually like racist like that. The whole crowd goes like, whoa, 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 <laughs> easy, man. We're all having a good time, dude. We don't need these fucking, dude. We don't need New Zealanders sneaking into the fucking mix, dude. <laughs> a couple of Fijis. <laughs> Whatever. You don't need fucking New Zealanders, dude. That's a new fucking term for, uh. When alt right dudes just go full barrel, like, well, dude, dude, I thought we were kidding, man. What the fuck? We'll play the Concords. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was that, dude? It probably was. I think there's like ten people in New Zealand. Well, so it's Travis Robertson. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Travis Roberts. Travis Robertson, dude. Well, now that's a shout out to our Saudi prince, dude. Travis Robertson, continue to bless us, dude. dude that was so. Please, fun. please. Yeah, my response was that's our lobby, dude. My <laughs> response was like, I don't scope numbers like that, nor do we condone quid pro quo. This isn't the Clinton Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> then I told him, I was like, dude, you are fucking. You're the man. He's a lobbyist. He controls us. Yeah, dude, we're basically in this guy's pocket now. Yep. So we're corporate puppets, dude. It's been fun while it lasted. It was but fun. Yeah, I, dude, I was reading our email, by the way. I, I, I haven't checked in forever. There's people like, y'all, just let you know, this $5 donation, or it was like 5 or $2, like, it is on thin ice, and I could take it at any moment. It's like, dude, go fuck yourself, dude. <laughs> like, I don't care. Although, you might have been, yeah. been kidding. Unless he, you know, unless the rebellion is sparked. I mean, we're dude, left penniless. Back, but I don't give back a fuck. to where we started for the last exactly, two years. Exactly, dude. Exactly I where dare we were. you guys to burn it all down, dude. I don't give a fuck. You think I do this for that? I'm watching Shane squirm right now. Dude. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I'm trying to find something funny to get out of this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm still working on the alternate Patreon project. I, I went on Craigslist today to try to start contacting merchants to read the myths, and they, no one had a phone number. Contacting merchants to read the myths. I'm going to read yeah, oh, Craigslist merchants. Yeah, so I'm going to Craigslist merchants, and I'm going to read the myths and then buy what they're selling. Yeah. And then just, you know, either keep it or donate it, depending if it's trash or if it's usable. Nice. Just donate If it's trash, I'll donate it to you the You donate to the Patreon, dude. True. We should start doing that. A little whatever lottery? You, whatever you buy, yeah. Whoever's, That's not yeah, a bad yeah, yeah. idea. There was a NASCAR duffel bag I was eyeing up, dude. <laughs> NASCAR and it was funny because there was like sick. several other duffel bags listed in the same area. So I was going to yeah. call the guy and start being like, are you this guy listing all these bags, bro? He had an LA fitness bag, a NASCAR duffel bag. NASCAR duffel bag is awesome. Dude, the, the one guy has a, like, just a computer bag in his picture. It's like up against, he has it displayed against like hanging from a chain link fence and he took a picture. It's like $5, serious offers only. <laughs> it's like, dude. But yeah, my other. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm tinkering with the idea of a Patreon Q and A, dude. Just email questions. Your boy fucking will read dude, them. Dude, people selling shit is like one of my one of my so friends. One funny. of my friends who fell on hard times was trying to sell this mirror <laughs> <laughs> in his office. And when he took a picture to sell it, it's just him in a computer chair taking a picture of a mirror. Oh, it looks so like he's just taking funny. a selfie. He's like mirror for sale. It's just him in a chair. <laughs> help me. This is a help me. Oh my god, that's fucking yeah. funny. Uh, where are we at? You got an get hour, going, bro. Huh? Yeah, an hour and six. Um, Dude, shout out to Shane for fucking coming oh, down, bro. I knew I was gonna be home for a little while. I knew the boys were hungry. Oh my god, this is great. To, had to had to leave the family in the ledge, dude. <laughs> dude, you are fucking Nielsen, dude. You fucking I, got I just, out of the plane. Someone took your gun. I said, I gotta get these dogs. Gotta get these boys something to eat. <sighs> god damn, I'm you know glad I mean? you did that. Yeah, I'm happy we got this. Um, this Thursday. March 21st, I'll be in Worcester, Massachusetts. Come out to that. Uh, it's, it's for a good cause. It's for uh, like a recovery thing. Oh, really? So I think people, yeah. For drugs. Yeah. They're fun. Dude, they're fun shows. I had to do one the one time with yeah. Deezer. It was a blast. So it's I showed two... up in camo cargo uh, camo cargo pants, dude. No, it's, I was like, that was a weird challenge. Where I was like, there's no way I can do a show in camo cargos. It's the NA show. I was like. These guys definitely like, yeah, everybody in no there's wearing problem, yeah. I rolled up and they're just like, oh, look uh, nice guy. slacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pair of slacks. Uh, so yeah, March twenty first, Worcester, Massachusetts, at the, some woo ha ha comedy club, Ooh. something like that. Uh, March twenty third. Oh, never mind. That's just a. What is it? I mean, is that is Ace two drink Hotel in New York? <laughs> two drink room at the <laughs> recovery show. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of Shirley Temples. <laughs> uh, March twenty eighth, I'll be with Buddy Harris. Damn, so we're gonna we're gonna get a show with him. We'll get him on. Nice and Guy Schiavi's, I think, in Lansdale. Both, dude. Schiavi's has me. What's Schiavi? Got Schiavi's me? has you a May, dude. All right, Schiavi. Oh, March thirtieth. Shippensburg Comedy <gasps> Club. That'll be big. I need that one. So come out to that. March 30th, March 21st, March... Yeah, fuck it. Just come out. 
Yeah, go to Shane Gillis Live. What's your website? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can get fucking thousands of views. No. <laughs> No. (laughs) I said no. It was really funny. You can go to, I think it's either shanegillis.com or shanemgillis.com. I think. Yeah. I had to, like, (laughs) submitting for this thing, my manager was like, you should have a website. So it looks good. So it looks good. Yeah. So I built this website on, like, Squarespace. GoDaddy.com. It's so gay. That's dude. I have a. It's like black and white pictures of me doing stand up. It's awesome. Dude. It's I, I checked it out. I'm on every day. Yeah. Oh, you check it out. I have That's my homepage. That's my landing page, it. dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, I have, I bought mattmccusker.com and since I've been trying to sell it on GoDaddy auctions and someone said it's worth 700 bucks. <sighs> worst comes to worst, you can always sell your name <laughs> to someone. To. You can always sell your name to someone more successful than you. Yeah, true. So hopefully there's a Matt McCusker out there that's killing it that dude, I can be like. there's a Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker mm, that are killing it right now. We could be millionaires, dude. All we got to do is wait for someone with our exact name to like just take off to the point where like, who has it? Just, dude, give them fucking 50 Gs. Yeah. Just get me that fucking hyperlink. That's what I'm banking on in my life. Dude, I literally, I, I want the GoDaddy, they appraise your website, how much they think it's potentially worth. MattMcCusker.com, $750. I almost sold it, dude. That's what you should start doing. You should start buying up websites. They're all fucking of bought. inventions you think are going to come out. What, like fucking console, console-less video games where you just play with the controllers and it projects on a wall? Yeah. And the way, it, the way it played, it was like Mortal Kombat, but it was since it was so many people, first hit, you lose, on to the next people. That way it keeps the party going. Yeah. Pretty fun. At the end, I like chose not to. I was playing against Brittany. She was getting mad that I was beating her. So I, I didn't hit. She didn't hit. We drew, we had a draw. It was like a... Remember, remember Mortal, Ta- Mortal Kombat when it was like friendship? Yeah. Fatality? It was like that where like there was like balloons. And then I woke up and I was like, whoa. Oh, my God. Well, I got to take a dump. <laughs> All right. But yeah, do that. Um, also, what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, I also put my... My research paper on the um, oh, I heard a very very light research paper it was it was only a, my a sister five told pager. me you did that yeah dude butterly asked for it I don't want to put all the other ones up there the other ones are pretty bad but what's yeah, wrong with the other ones they're just retarded they're just like shit I had to submit the last minute I don't stand behind them this one I, I stand behind this one mm. it was good it was good nice yeah I'll let you go I'll let you go no I got here. I got nowhere to true be. that's true it's your call I'm gonna fucking butt rush. Yeah, and I so, knew it, dude. Uh, I knew I, once I got into this trance, uh, this time would go away. Yeah, I, and once we start potting, I don't care about anything. I mean, we were fine. This, this, definitely one of my energy centers, dude, for sure. I was looking forward to this. Yeah, that's I was a, like, things suck. This will be good. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Got to sit down, talk to the shaman. Yeah. Learn, dude. dude. Learn about my inner self projecting onto other people, <sighs> dude. Which that's is a lot problem. Of I'm a real <clears throat> dickhead to a lot of people, just out of maybe insecurity. I don't know. That's what. It, well, that's what. It, that's initially in relationships. What happens is you. You just. You don't know this person, so you just fill in what you don't know with all of your positive fantasies, and then usually once, negative fantasies. Or yeah, or your fears. You'll be like, I know you're what you're up to, and you're like, don't do this. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, no, no, no. Yeah. But yeah, it's that, and also, uh, yeah, a lot of that stuff. And then when people, when the fantasy girls do it a lot too, where they'll they'll do like they'll I guess guys too, but they'll like build a fantasy of you as a dude and once you step out and once you break their fantasy projection that's why girls are always trying to like fix control like why don't you wear this why don't you do this because yeah. like they have this idea of this dude and they're just trying to mold you into it yeah which is funny because when you're starting you're like oh that's what you want me to be yeah you're dapper dan dude this you're, is who i am exactly i'm real cool exactly I'm a, i would never do that exactly and then dude. once you start dating it's like you fucking bitch <laughs> i mean that's the fucking uh fucking what is that the aphrodite psyche and uh who's the other guy Eros myth, the guy who was, he was a god, the god Eros, or Cupid, however you look at it. And he, yeah. the young fucking psyche fell in love with him and he was like, you can never truly look at me and we'll be fine. And she looks at, she looks at him and he's like, you dumb bitch, I told you not to look at me. <laughs> and he floats back up to the heavens, dude. <laughs> floats back to Bay Heaven. Yep. Pretty crazy interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Dude. Pretty interesting, interesting stuff. That's all I'll say. We'll just end with one. I was born to drive boat Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel I'm lean back with the less pull Shit I smoke is like cholesterol Spill dressing on the vest at the festival